fourth down. Clark dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Darrell Clark scores the touchdown for Penn State. A nice little drive by Darrell Clark. Threw a ball that should have been caught for a touchdown and then kind of a powerful run on fourth down. You know, he's 224 pounds, not just a little skinny guy. That was a run all the way. Games on 10 carries. Now Clark. That'll be a touchdown. Uh, the way he finished the game against Notre Dame last week. By design, the quarterback counter draw, and he just has a nose. First and goal. Clark keeps touchdown. Clark gives the shotgun. He's going to just run a quarterback draw inside the 10 5. He almost got there. Nice run. Yeah. Now down you, to the one yard line. Now you're talking. Evan Royster is the tailback behind Hahn. Quarterback keeper. No signal. Now we get one touchdown, Penn State. Seven yard line. And it's Daryl Clark. Shotgun formation. Keeps it. Daryl Clark, the backup, diving, loses the ball. They signal touchdown. Here's another look. Clark diving. And yeah. right at the plane. Bill Paterno a decade ago. Paterno's new starting quarterback this year is Daryl Clark who couldn't have opened the season any better than with a touchdown drive in his first series. Falls right, complete to Butler, turns inside 14 to the 10, another Penn State first down. I'm going to start off with a, you know, a good note, throwing the football to your wide receiver. That on the first play. Throws Derek Williams, convoy, plug 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, and cut down inside the 15. They rush three and back goes Clark. A lot of time to survey the field down the middle. Darwin with a great catch. There's the ability of one of the triplets to make a tough catch in traffic. And inside the hash marks, there's not a better receiver Penn State has than Norwood. Far corner wide open. Norwood touchdown, Penn State. George Norwood reels in his eighth career touchdown catch of the Nittany Lions. Now have a 20-point lead. In the country, as you just saw, third down at seven. Penn State right near midfield. Clark. Has some pressure this time, but he's got his man. And it's Mickey Schuler, the tight end, down the... Gets back into the Penn State backfield. Clark, play action, pressure. On the run, he's going to keep it. He's got some room to go. A slot again, Clark in the shotgun. And Darrell's just a straight run here. And he's got the corner and more. 35-30. All the way down to the 24. -year. At the 5, Derrick Williams in motion. Clark, plenty of time to the corner. Mickey Schuler. Yeah, his were checkered though, his pants. Clark, nice play fake, lofts it corner. This is a touchdown, no, out of bounds. Derrick Williams couldn't keep his feet in. Motion toward the ball. Clark going to him. First down. I think this gives you plenty of time. Play action bootleg. Clark, what a throw to Roy, uh, Schuler again. State drive though. Clark, quick drop, the loft to Norwood, got him, touchdown. First down at the 32 of the Beavers. Clark streaks it down the sideline, caught. And this telecast is available in high definition, as all of you know. Deep down the middle, into traffic, and Norwood made a leaping catch again. 100 yards even. And now Clark play action. Fires across the middle, and again finds his man. In the backfield, all by his lonesome. Quarterback draw. Clark inside the 15-10. Still on his feet. Touchdown. Strange start. The first five plays of the game produced two turnovers and a touchdown. Sets, he looks downfield, and Norwood's there at the Circus 33, turns inside 30, there goes Norwood, 25, 20, George of the 10, 5, touchdown, Penn State, a 55-yard strike from Darrell Clark. He does a good job at just going down the field, making it look like he's going to the middle of the field, and then going back to the outside, the timing between Clark and Norwood was right on the money, and he circles back, and, and all of a sudden Penn State takes a 7-0 late. This was the first time Penn State had taken their highly productive offensive show on the road. And after the early turnover, they were operating with the same precision that they had displayed in two games at Beaver Stadium. 
On this drive, quarterback Daryl Clark converted three times on third down. Short drop, lobs far corner for Butler, touchdown Penn State! What a catch by Dion Butler! And I'll tell you, not bad coverage, but an outstanding throw and an outstanding catch. Back goes Clark, he sets, he looks downfield, he fires, open his bracket, back to the goal line, touchdown Penn State! The Nittany Lions cap an 80 yard drive! The Penn State touchdown did quarterback Daryl Clark, who started the day with the best pass efficiency rating in the Big Ten. The Nittany Lions were on the prowl again. Clark play action pass. Clark sets a lot of time. Delivers down here for a wide open Butler at the 45-40. Butler throws right to the 40. 45. Butler breaks on tackle to the 30. He's taken down at the 29 and game tackle by nine members of the Temple defense. I'm not sure how many quarterbacks could end up making that pass downfield. Clark pump fake while he's in midair with a tackle right on his chest. Now it was all going Penn State's way. But Daryl Clark has more to him than just arm. His legs got him Penn State's third touchdown of the day and the party in the sunshine was officially in full swing. It's good yardage. Back goes Clark. He throws. Sock at the five. Ramzog. Touchdown Penn State. Ramzog is first career touchdown catch. Defensive end. All Big Ten team a year ago. Third down and three now for Clark and the Lions. And they move first and ten. There's Clark pulling back now, looking down. Field complete. Butler. The game. And here comes Daryl Clark and Penn State. Straight ahead with Clark. Touchdown. Sydney Lions proved they could not only take a punch, but could throw one right back and quickly against a ranked opponent. Corliss breaks tackle, 30 yard line, 31, first down, Nittany Lions. It's Clark, back he goes, time, over the middle, it's caught by Williams, 35, 40, Derek, 45, to the right, to midfield, breaking tackles and finally brought down at the 50. Just right, design run, turns the corner, first down, 40, cuts inside, 35, and that might be a horse collar right there. And with 48 seconds left in the quarter, 110,000 love it. Clark takes the snap, play action, rolls near side. He's open. Wide open on the wheel route, it's Williams! Touchdown, Penn State! The Nittany Lions go 81 yards and they answer again. The electrifying first quarter ended 14-14, foreshadowing a great... Williams lines up to the left, Royster to the right, first and ten. Play fake, Clark with time, he's got a receiver! Touchdown! Back goes Clark. He throws downfield. It's caught the 40. Butler 35, 34 yard line of the first down for Penn State. And he blew wide open against that Illini secondary. Corliss in motion toward us. Clark gets the snap. Rolls near side. Looks near side. He throws. And it's caught. First down, 21 yard line. And Derek Williams is just having a monster first half here right now, making plays all over the field. I love to watch his Penn State offensive line execute the screens. And how nice would it be to be a running back? You make the catch. But all four times Illinois scored in this game, Penn State responded with a score of their own. Every time someone different making a big play to answer the call. Quarterback Daryl Clark was a terrific leader the entire night. First and 10 at the Illinois 46. Clark rolls near side, gets a block from Waller, delivers downfield for Williams, caught at the 31 yard line, and a Penn State first down. Clark takes the snap, back he goes, pump face, looks, Throws in the end zone for Corliss, touchdown, Penn State! And in the clutch, the Nittany Lions respond. This offensive line gave a great pocket for Clark to sit in there and sit in there and just a little flick touch pass in the corner of the end zone. And I don't think a whole lot of people realize how good Corliss is. First down. Clark looks left, goes in zone, touchdown Corliss. It's in the country, and they were starting to take control again, opening holes for the ground game and giving quarterback Darrell Clark lots of time to find open receivers. Graham Zugg's catch got it to the five-yard line, and Clark himself took it to the one. And when faced with a fourth and goal, he took it one step beyond that. Clark under center. Clark, quarterback sneak right side, touchdown Penn State! And the Nittany Lions take the lead. Good job here with the offensive line. Just all you need was a little bit of a surge and a touchdown. Back goes Clark on a play-action fake. 
Pump fakes in trouble. Now rolls near side. Sees an alley. He'll deliver the ball. Complete the bracket over the 30 and a first down to 33 yard line. Bracket would catch another pass for 18 yards in a drive that would be a masterpiece for Clark. Penn State took over the ball with a little under four minutes to go in the half and Clark used up every second of it while hitting four different receivers with passes. 11 plays, 72 yards later. Great read by Clark. They blitzed off the edge and that freed up Williams and he found him. It was almost like a running back back there. Two left, two right, Clark in the guard. Good snap, back he goes with some time. Looks downfield for Dion Butler. Makes the catch inside the five of the four yard line and the Nittany Lions got a first down. Butler with great footwork. Advantage of the turnover early in the fourth quarter. A shovel pass to Evan Royster worked for 23 yards. The Nittany deal to be the starting tailback at Penn State. Clark had a little half roll, wide open, throws to Norwood, and Norwood inside the 20. I think he was going to play tonight from an ankle injury. Third and five, Clark. It's an option read, and he's inside the five. He owned this place. Well, he's leading the nation in sacks, had one in the first half. This is complete to Williams. Empty backfield for Clark. Four-man rush, excellent protection again. And they thought they would find out a lot more about their ball club. So far, they have not been challenged. Clark to the sideline. What a wow. route. What a throw and a nice catch by Jordan Norwood. Back to the football and still kept his feet in bound. Only needed that one foot in. He got the right foot in. But Little setback behind Clark. Clark wants to throw. Quarterback draw. Royster gave him a block. And look at the power of Clark. He just dragged Mario Goins into the end zone. The extra dimension you yep. talked about. Him is in the red zone. You got to be patient and let that back get in front of you. Royster gets an excellent block. Work yet. Clark under pressure, throws on the run, and wide open is Norwood. And Norwood is out to the 28-yard line. They have graduated 75% which out of the top 25 football schools is number three. Clark sprints out of trouble. Throws somehow, kept the play alive, made a perfect toss down the sideline to James McDonald. He took a big time shot. Watch him know that he's gonna get hit, but still enough arm strength to get this one out there. He wasn't able to step into it, mm. but delivered a perfect throw on the sideline and took a hit at the end of the play. Clark again after a nice play fake. Wide open. Butler, touchdown Penn State. There is a flag down, but I think it's a defensive holding. And did the only thing he could do was try to grab and stop him from running by. You see, he's beat badly. He grabs, and Butler's still able to stay on his feet and track down the football. The offense made the makeover complete. The two-minute drill at the end of the half has been a specialty for this group all season. Clark, back to pass, sets, waits, throws in the end zone, touchdown, Penn State, Jordan Norwood. Norwood's catch with 23 seconds left pulled Penn State within three at the break. Play action, Clark steps up, trouble, over the middle, Butler, first down, 40-yard line. Great adjustment by Butler on the ball after Clark hung tough in the pocket. Clark throws for Norwood, blocked by Butler, 45, Norwood breaks the tackle, 40, first down inside the 40. Back he goes, he wants Williams or Cadogan in front, 40. There's Orton Rogner with another block, 35 to the 30. Immediately adding to it, Deion Butler would have a season-high eight catches to the deafening delight of the masses. Quarterback sneak, right side, they push the pile, touchdown, Penn State, and the Nittany Lions showing that killer instinct at home. The moment, throws over the middle, he's got Norwood, 10, 5, far corner, Jordan Norwood. Following review, evidence shows the runner was down, the ball is at the one-foot line, first and goal, the one-foot you got a big, strong quarterback behind a tough center in Shipley. Just sneak it over there. Quarterback sneak, Daryl Clark. Touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions now have that 35-17 lead. This had been a great test for a now 8-0 football team. A football team that has shown it can bounce back from adversity. There to clear it for a couple more yards. Now Royster back in. And a beautiful fake by Clark. A first down at midfield. Play fake by Clark, trying to buy time. Now he's going to go downfield. He's got a man open. Got him. 
Graham Zug. Hines is out there. They're going to back off and show zone against him. Clark's rolling in that way. Coming in, he hits William. Here comes Clark, wide open. Play action, Clark rolls right, sets, he throws. Deion Butler makes the catch, first down at the 26, and Deion Butler becomes the all-time receptor leader at Penn State. That is catch number 168. Back Cotter, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, we're good. Thank you, Joe. Hey, no problem, I'm here for you. Williams is out there, oh, what a catch! Touchdown! Derek Williams. For Williams, it was his longest reception of the season. For Penn State, they hoped it was the icebreaker they were looking for. Clark Royster to his right. Back he goes on third and seven. Throws over the middle. He's got Schiller, 30, first down, 25, near side. 20. In the senior receiving trio of Jordan Norwood, Derek Williams, and Dion Butler. They combined to catch 16 passes for nearly 200 yards. Clark will run it, 25. Clark walked to the 15, dead inside the 10 and roll down at the eight and a first down. 18 yard run, first down Penn State. Clark waits, blitz coming, back to pass, looks for Butler, touchdown Penn State. Any lingering effects from the Iowa loss were gone and the Nittany Lions were in full throttle in all facets of their game. Clark, plenty of time, sets in the pocket, Zug, down. The tight end's out to the left, they put Williams on the right. Clark runs that way and walks into the end zone. Escorted by Mike Lucian. Ball Big Ten at safety a year ago. Clark wants it on first down. Under throw to Williams, he caught it anyway. Touchdown. Comes through, we have a chance because they knew about their offensive line, they knew about the receivers. Clark with time. Down to the 10 for Jordan Norwood. Williams is in the backfield to the right of Clark. Royster to the left. Clark with a slant, touchdown. There he There's is. Deion Butler. The other thing, and people saying that Darrell Clark's concussion uh, played all the way hard in this, and Clark a man wide open right down the middle, and there goes Butler. Perfect throw after a nice play fake. 70 yards, and the route is on. Watch both defenders go for the screen to Williams, and the little hesitation by Butler. He looked like he was going to block for Williams, and then he just took off, and Michigan State let him run right through the middle of the defense. Stepping up in the pocket. Penalty flag flies. Wide open is Butler. Butler still on his feet. 20. Remember, there's a penalty flag, however. Butler with a brilliant run. If they can get him to daylight. They play fake. They're going to throw the screen to him, and here he comes. He breaks the first tackle. Time. Slam. He sees it. Watch him stand in the pocket. What presence, what arm strength, and delivers an absolute strike downfield into the teeth of the USC defense. Great route by Butler. The penalty brought that back, and now they have reached that spot again. Clark on a quarterback draw. Set to the middle. End zone. Touchdown. Barrels in. 
Daryl Clark and getting the offense to settle down. A great call and what amazing blocks downfield. Think about this now. We've been talking about this USC defense being the best maybe of all time. Look at the Penn State receivers and linemen. That 24 unanswered points by the Trojans. Penn State tied it at seven and now wide open. Butler inside the 30. Rolling, throw, got Williams. Well, closely, and uh, how high the bulk of these defensive stars might go in the next draft as Clark tries to throw it downfield. And Butler. State. Really, the, the one area that is shine is when number three has been able to make plays. He sets him up to the inside, comes back. Actually, Harris. Wide open. Norwood. Remember that hit he took earlier? Third and eight now for Clark and the Nittany Lions. There was movement that looked by that defensive lineman. There's the flag. He throws it in for a touchdown. Programs in the nation. Senior quarterback Darrell Clark led the Lions out of the huddle in the opening drive of the 123rd season of Penn State football was something to watch. Too far side, one near side. Clark back to pass. Sets. Clark waits. Steps up. Throws over the complete. First down, 45, 40, swings it near side, 30, Derek Moy to the 25-yard line. And Moy on a deep in route, but the offensive line gave a lot of protection. And I'll tell you, it started with the offensive line, Clark staying in the pocket and just delivering the football. Darrell Clark back, quickly releases, has Corliss. Corliss trying to stay on his feet. Three wide receivers at the top of your screen, and Powell, Zug, and Moy. Clark. With time, now rolls to his left. In the end zone, touchdown, Penn State. 29. Back goes Clark. He throws downfield. It's caught by Moy. First down, Akron, 44-yard line. Second down now. And 10 to the near side. Here's Powell. Cuts back inside the 35 and down. Clark steps up. Clark looks. In the end zone, touchdown, Penn State, Derek Moy. Penn State lost their top three receivers to graduation, but Derek Moy led the new generation in on an opening day that answered some questions about the passing game, producing one of the best single-game aerial attacks in Penn State history. And they used every second of the first half to do it. Clark, under pressure, avoids it. Down the middle of the field, Clark. Derek Moy! 36 seconds remaining here in the first half. Clark with plenty of time to the end zone, touchdown Penn State. Must two receivers near side, Suey's the lone setback. Clark short drop, he throws a dark complete to Royce for 35-30. Evan, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Penn State, a 49-yard quick strike. Play action, Clark rolls far side, chased by Suter, throws, complete to Corliss over the 35, and a first down, 10-51 to go in the third, and they're on the march again. Okay, this is something maybe Clark would not have done last year. Move the chains, and then the line, stay on the march now, 6 of 8 on third down. Boy, just to teach a wide receiver to come back to the football, a lot of time. Over the middle, caught, touchdown, Penn State, Grand Saga. As Darrell Clark has now thrown 10 touchdown passes over his last three regular season games. Clark rolls near side, Schuler's open, touchdown, Penn State. The highlights presented by the Pennsylvania Propane Foundation and your local propane service provider. Propane, exceptional energy. Daryl Clark, exceptional energy, generating offense. Well, setback Royster on third and one. Clark, play action, sets, looks at the end zone, wide open, touchdown, Penn State. He wants to throw, he sets, he fires in the end zone, caught, touchdown, Penn State. Derek Boy, big target like a basketball player, boxed him out and gets the six. And Clark delivers a dart. He was intended. Clark rolls near side on play action. Squares the shoulders, lofts downfield, complete the pile. 45 40, near side 35. Under centers, Clark. Royster, left side, blocked from Coros. Up, throws it deep downfield, wide open. He's got Powell. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Penn State. And this joint goes wild. The opening play from scrimmage for the Nittany Lions. They go 79 yards. And a great call here offensively for Penn State. Play action here on first and 10. Talk about a play action fake. 
Two strong defenses and a wet evening put scoring at a premium, and Penn State continued to cling to their five-point lead. They would have loved to separate by two scores and force Iowa to open things up. Gun gets the snap. Clark, quarterback draw. First down, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Clark with a 35, 40, 25, 20. First down, Nittany Lions. One of the biggest plays of the game, and it's a running play from Clark. A gain of 49, what a great play call against the blitz. Yeah, and I think that offensive line at Penn State. Clark in the center, quarterback sneak, reaches out the football, touchdown, Penn State! Penn State, right now the play calling has that rhythm. Everything that Illinois does, Penn State has dialed up the right. Running the football, quarterback sneak, touchdown, okay. Penn State! Clark's second touchdown came on the second play of the fourth quarter, and the Nittany Lions weren't finished yet. They would score four second-half touchdowns and perhaps most impressive, ran up 338 rushing yards. Gain of 18 and everything working for Penn State. Fifth in the country in the FCS, formerly and better known as Division I AA. Penn State's offense was running smoothly. Reaches the football out, touchdown Penn State. Three touchdowns and two weeks rushing for Darrell Clark and the Nittany Lions cap an 85-yard drive. Transfer. In fact, Eastern Illinois had a roster full of transfers from schools like Iowa and Florida, and this was the fourth straight year they had played a Big Ten team, so they were not going to be intimidated. But they were going to be beaten. Out of the gun on first and 15, back he goes. What time? He throws, sucks oh. wide over the 10, cuts inside to the 5, first down inside the 5 at the 2-yard line, the Nittany Lions on the doorstep again. Play action, Clark rolls to the side, to bracket, touchdown, Penn State. Scored almost every which way imaginable. Set long and deep for Chaz Powell. Powell wrapped up, makes the catch. Touchdown, Penn State. Powell with a fabulous reception for the score. He was interfered at the five-yard line and still made the catch. 24 nothing. But that's just a simple play action fake and a post pattern by Powell downfield and just doing a better job of just out fighting the defender for the football. He wants the end zone, he throws to the end zone, wide open, touchdown, Penn State, Derek Boy, just about a perfect first half. It was Clark's third touchdown pass in less than five and a half minutes, all to different receivers. Just two series in the second half, but that was enough to get Penn State another touchdown. He got the Lions within striking distance with his pinpoint passing accuracy, and they finished the job on the ground, churning up big chunks. Ten from their own nine, worst starting field position for Penn State today. Clark goes back on a play action fake, delivers downfield, high in the air, Zug makes the catch, 24, first down. Short drop, waits, throws far side at the 40, caught, first down, 45. He picked up 10 extra yards on pure effort. Nice job of protection, the ball stone, watch it, watch it come to the other end, see nice protections on top. Back he goes, blitz picked up, delivers, caught, Corliss, first down, 40, 35, 30, 25, inside the 25 and out of bounds. Oh, sets, fires, caught Zug inside the 10, Incomplete, he dropped it. Well, I'll tell you what, that is close whether he gets his arm underneath there. Yeah. They're going to review it, yeah, though. They're look Minnesota 7. Clark then bowled his way to the two-yard line, showing his strength. But another penalty cost the Lions 10 yards, and they were looking at second and goal from the 12. Clark sets, throws for Moy in the end zone, reaches, incomplete. He caught it, but out of bounds. Oh, they're going to review this play. Watch this. Does he have control? That is... Back goes Clark. Rolls far side, looks downfield, stops, delivers, Powell caught, first down, third down, three and a half. Back goes Clark, sets, time, throws, caught, 25-yard line, first down, Penn State. Nittany Lion players and fans who have made the Penn State program so special. This drive was certainly special. 13 plays, 85 yards, and Clark and Graham Zug almost connected for six more. A touchdown Penn State would get when Clark lunged over two plays later anyway. Just described the offensive line play prior to last week as shaky, but Galen Hall thought they had their best game last week. And they score quickly. Penn State with a touchdown from Graham Zug. There's a deep ball down the middle and caught. Andrew Corliss, the tight end, all the way for a touchdown. Clark. Out throwing again and on target. Andrew Corliss. Oh, showing, they're showing pressure inside. And they bring the pressure and it's well picked up by the O-line and it's a touchdown to Graham Zug. 
Eight minutes to go, third quarter. Penn State up by 15. Clark end zone, and that was easy. Touchdown. Graham Zugg's third of the day. Here. But Daryl Clark and company had something special conjured up as well. And Penn State would produce game. They're going up top. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, they're taking a page out of the book of Northwestern, coming out here and throwing the football almost on every down. Watch this. Makes a little shake and bake. On number 94, Vince Brown in the high step. He's got it all, like I told you, in the pregame. Not only with his arm, he's 6'3", 230 pounds, folks. When you got shake like that, you can make things happen with your legs. Clark under center, back to pass, short drop, looks far side, it's caught by Drake at the 10 to the 5, out of bounds inside the 5 at the 2-yard line. The freshman Curtis Drake and it's first and goal at the 2. Clark rolls left, good block by Royce to the protector, now rolls right, sees the opening to the goal line, touchdown, Penn State. Clark, play action, fake back to pass, delivers down the middle, caught. At the 15, down to the 10-yard line. The first down. Back they go for Clark. He sets. He fires downfield. It's caught at the 10. Boy to the 5-yard line. First and goal. Nittany. First and 10, their own 47-yard line. Rolling near side on play action is Clark. He sets up. He throws downfield for Derek Moy. He reaches out at the 10. Touchdown! Penn State! The Nittany Lions, a big one-play strike. 53 yards from Daryl Clark to Derek Moy. Zug and Moy, one set back, Suey. Clark. Sets, he wants Zug, leads him at the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, Zug to the 45, to the 30. Clark, he'll keep it and go. First down to the 20, inside the 20, and down to the... They're going for it again. Clark, this time up and over, touchdown! This is a defense that's not going to be back off and play prevent. Clark rolls near side. Clark sets, he throws, Zug makes the catch. 25, first down, they do blitz. Back goes Clark, steps up. Gets rid of it. Slug makes the catch, 45, turns inside, 40, 45. Midfield, first down, Nittany Lions. And the tenacity of Daryl Clark to make that play. Some quarterbacks are good at stepping up in the pocket. But the Nittany Lions had not allowed 10 points in the first quarter all season, but they did not panic. The Hoosiers had been a quick start team all year. More than 107,000 were encouraged by the Lions' next drive as Clark showed his senior leadership skills, using his legs to get one first down. But a minute to work with, Penn State came up full. Clark hit Brett Brackett with an 18-yarder that also stopped the clock. And the Lions coaching... The game, Royster first down. Royster getting closer and closer to 1,000 yards. He needed 105 yards. Short drop by Clark. He sets, he throws. It's caught by Drake. 50, 45, far side, 40, 45. Cuts inside to the 30. Drake inside the 30 to the 27-yard line. But Curtis Drake is now giving us a glimpse of the future. Like a baseball pitcher that doesn't have his best stuff but finds a way to win anyway, the Nittany Lions tough this one out, surviving a lot of bumps along the way, but not enough to keep them from winning 19 of their last 20 on Senior Day. From the one, quarterback sneak, Darrell Clark, touchdown, Penn State. Clark, a little swing, Stephon Green, Green with blazing speed. It's the tailback. Pressure coming, Clark. Perfect throw to the sideline, Quarles touchdown. Clark with time and throws over the middle, Zug makes the catch. Went over the 1,000-yard mark for the second straight season. Joe Paterno said he wanted to see more out of him. He's getting it. Suey wide open. Clark got him the ball. Touchdown. Clark straight back to throw. Good protection. Down the middle, Graham Zug. Touchdown. Green has checked in at tailback behind Clark. Clark steps up. Zug. 10-5. Touchdown. Picked up the blitz. Clark. High throw, but Zug got it. There's a good catch. The first down, Penn State. At the 37-yard line of LSU. Green back in the backfield behind Clark. They fake it to him. Clark. Gonna go long. Got a man. Touchdown. Derek Moore held on to that one. Florida Sports Foundation. And with them, we share a common mission to support 
disadvantage. That squash to those rumors pretty directly with us yesterday. Clark. There's an excellent runner. Third and long for Darrell Clark. Throws on a crossing pattern to Corliss. There's a mismatch Tom talked about. And he's out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Clark lobs it across the middle. Going to be another first down. Clark again. This time throws behind 